Doc Rivers was on our show, uh, the coach of the L.A. Clippers, and I love both of you. And uh, so uh, this is this is very uncomfortable for me. We asked him about the DeAndre Jordan saga, and I said, what would you say to Mark if you saw him on the street? Here's Doc. Hey, Mark. <laughs> How are you? So now I don't know Mark well. Uh, did he handle this well? No. To me, he acted very silly uh, in it. You know, look at the difference. I coached D.J., uh, DJ didn't call me when he left. Did you see me out in front of the camera screaming and yelling and crying? Uh, oh, I didn't boy. do that. Uh, I was disappointed. I was disappointed internally, and I handled it that way. Uh, Mark tends to do things out in the open, and that's fine. Uh, but it bothered you. Uh, yeah, when you take shots at DJ, you know, the guy you loved two days ago, now you don't like so much anymore. Uh, I think basically what all that did is told DJ even more that he made the right choice. Does that make you mad? First of all, he obviously didn't actually hear or see what I said because I didn't say a whole lot. You know, um, I think I said I, re I responded to DJ's Twitter apology, and that's pretty much it. I haven't said a whole lot about it all, so I don't know where he's getting what he's got. But I think the most interesting thing is it shows you what someone will do when their entire future is vanishing in front of them. And that's exactly what Doc did, and I give him credit for it. His life, his his professional life was over, you know. If he I mean, didn't get DJ, if he didn't get DJ, and so his back was against the wall, and and he did what he needed to do. So, more power to him. But you know, sometimes the deals you don't do are the best ones. So we'll see. But Doc obviously hadn't heard what I'd said because I really didn't say anything. Are you still? Is there a little bit in you? I, mean, I, I could make the argument you were going to overpay for him, frankly. Well, it wasn't so much that. Look, we, you, over, you overpay for your best players because they become part of a team. Mm -hmm. And in aggregate, you hope the sum of the parts is, is greater. Um, but we saw DJ as a cornerstone. And if you can't handle the pressure of a week, it's going to be difficult to handle the pressure of being the cornerstone. So um, it is what it is. It turned out the way it is. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll play the games and see what happens. But um, I'm surprised to hear Doc say that, honestly, because I really, I mean, if you go back and look at the things I said, intentionally I've not said much. And he said I was out in front of the cameras doing this, this, and this. I mean, you know, my typical response when someone brings up DJ's name is who? <laughs> you know, that's my, my typical response. So, But, again, that's who Doc is. You know, I, I respect the fact that when his professional life was about to dissipate and disappear and go up in flames, you know, they they did what they had to do and they got DJ back. So more power to him.